Thank you so much for joining me as Game Edge. We are back in Ranch Simulator. That's right, you can hear the pigs are up and running. That's right, they're doing great. And it looks like we might have some babies on the way. There was a bit of love making behind our UTV last episode. I'm going to check out to see how much food we have. 7 to 7 over here. We've got water. We're doing good. It seems like everybody's doing great. Oh, there's some ooh, eggs over there. I'm not sure if the pigs can squash the eggs or crack them. I'm not sure. We'll, we'll see whether or not that, that is something. But we'll just grab uh, what we can of the eggs. Make sure everything is all good. These guys are darn curious. But, uh, well, these two chickens have kind of gone over it that they're here. But thankfully enough, looks like everybody's eating and they're still alive. So that's all that matters. That's all that matters. Everybody's still good. We now have got to finish up the barn. And we also have to finish up our troughs too. And let's go check this out here. We built this silo last episode. This wonderful silo. And I want to check it out. Let's see what we can do. So we have to press R to okay, fill this up. And press E to fill troughs. What's that? Left click. Oh. Oh, oh, oh. This shows a visibility how far it goes. Oh, good stuff. Oh, we built that just perfect. I didn't know that was going to be the, how far it was going to be. Okay, that's good. That's good. It's good. We got to go back here and click on that. And it looks like we have more than enough to fill these up. What? 10 out of 21. Can we not fill them up anymore than that? I mean, it's kind of weird. Why did not fill it up all the way? I guess we don't do that. All right, fill troughs. Let's try to get, no, I didn't go down. You see, it's still up there. 80, 180 of uh, 200. All right, well, it is what it, we have to deal with. I also want to get lights put into this uh, area, plus inside of here, because I worked yesterday night, it was bloody dark. As you can see, I cut down a whole bunch of planks. A lot of planks went down to this one. A whole lot. Uh, but yeah, we did a pretty good job, though. Got all that completed, and I have my truck full of planks and such. We also have our metal here. Now, I was thinking, I want to just get a couple of lights put into this, and I don't remember where. I know I saw them. Oh, there you go. Lamp. We put one right in the middle here for when we're working. Oh, maybe not. Yes, we can. Yes, we can. All right. Maybe we'll have to get two of them, but one should be eh, one in the middle. Let's save some money here because this is, a, of course, very expensive. Okay. One there. And how about one on here? Does it let me put on the wall here? Oh, maybe underneath here. Okay. It's weird. It's not, it lets me put up a straight on the wall, but I can't use Q and E like they're saying. Go upwards and downwards, so I don't know. We'll have to let it be. I guess we'll put it right there. Try to be centered up in the wall as much as possible. And maybe another one here. So we can see better inside of here, because I'll be honest with you, it's been pretty bad and dark and hard to see stuff. We're coming in. Oh, can I put one right underneath here? That would be pretty awesome. How about there? I know the doors close on that, but oh, okay. How about that one? That's perfect. That would be great. Okay, we're going to have to go get more metal, I'm sure. Uh, we're not going to be able to do all these. And maybe we have one on the side. Okay. Uh, there, it does work, but not... Okay, there too. Oh, we'll put one here for now. That's okay. All right, go back to our hands and grab the metal and see if we can fill these babies up and see what it looks like. Okay, that's lit up. There we go. Nice. Perfect. I'm out of metal. Yeah, I might just take a little drive for metal afterwards, but we'll see what we have to do because I have to put some more of these uh, inside of here because we're going to probably do that for our stuff. But I need to get the mill going. This is pretty nice, though. I mean, minus this is not centered, but it's fine. Okay, I can actually see in here. That's, that's a good thing. Seeing is believing, and I tell you something, it's definitely believing when we see that. All right. I need to chop down some of these trees here. This is in the way, this one. Okay, what we're going to do is we're going to put that right here. I'm going to have to go and bring it back afterwards. We're just not going to keep that with us, but just for now. So when a guy is driving over them, uh, we don't have any problems. Here we go. And you too, you little rubbery little crap. Which gives me a log, though. I'll take it. Right now, I kind of need a lot of logs. <laughs> All right, so I wonder if the, the other one, too, the mill there, it's going to do that to water. So let's see whether this helps out and works. It's going to take 150 metal for this one. How does that look here? Rotate that. Lyra's got to be on that side. Okay, I think that's good. Yeah, that's pretty good. All right, so 150 metal. We have that on the back of a trailer over there too, uh, which we have to pick up a whole bunch of goodies. So let's go and get that thing. Oh my 
Gas tank is getting away. Maybe gas can, jerry can. Nope. I don't know, I think I knocked it over. So that's pretty much, yeah, I'm gonna need a lot more metal for all of the other builds we're gonna do. Especially the lights and everything else. Holy moly, okay, so, is that in there? 50's in there, okay. 100. Hundred and fifty. Okay, so the troughs. Uh, so this is the same thing. Watering bowls. Press E. All right. To fill, and show visibility. Okay. Toggle visibility. What did it say that twice for? Toggle, toggle. Did he reach it? Yeah, it did. Perfect though. So again, I don't know why the troughs are not doing that, but you know, let's take off this toggle because it leaves a light green tinge in your screen. I'm not sure why that's doing that. But that does look a lot better. Our silo and everything else, it looks pretty realistic now. I don't know what it is, but the texturing with the mountains and everything else, it looks pretty darn amazing. I have to say, I'm enjoying that. Okay, we'll, we'll look at that afterwards. We're gonna need to get some more metal. For everything we're gonna want to build this side here. So I'm guessing the pigs are okay right now. They're doing okay. We're gonna need to move them in. That's without a doubt. But I'm gonna to need to also get myself some lighting in here because at nighttime we're not gonna see shite and we're gonna have some animals in here. So this might be a little bit of a lighting time for oh it goes straight up and down, eh? It's weird. How come I can't rotate that? If you guys know a trick or now I'm trying. The CUNY, right now, look, you see this is just a mouse wheel. And you can't, like, re-rotate it around. It doesn't give the rotation anywhere else. Yeah, there's nothing that's happening with that. Oh, oh, wait, we can do this then. Let's do one like this. Try and center these things up here. Let's get this here. And one down there, maybe? Oh, I like that idea. Stagger them across here. It's the middle. Okay, it's weird. This one has a seam in it. That's okay. And right there in the middle. Okay, and this one is right there. Okay, that that's gonna look. I think this might actually look good. We won't be able to see the nighttime how that worked out, but I think this is gonna turn out okay. This one is right here. I think right. So it's gonna be cool. I mean, I, it's gonna be, actually I I I've seen barns. I think I'm not mistaken with staggered lights like this. When I these places, just place them all the way across. But I'm positive I've seen some. Tell me if I'm wrong. But when I swim another, our barn is gonna be like that. Not every barn, I guess. They have probably some seriously good lighting now. But yeah, this one's gonna go in the middle of this thing. Okay, so that's okay. We got that, we got that. And once we complete this, again, we're gonna go back out and get some metal. We'll go and double check to see what's going on out there in the world, see if Sally is all happy. Well, actually, Sally doesn't own that place. There's no one who runs it, it's all automated. It's brought to you by Amazon. <laughs> I don't know what to say. It's never anybody at that shop. It's like an honorary system. Pick it up and then someone drops it off in the front. I have no idea who does it though. Probably drones and stuff, who knows? Okay, we're going to do one shot, okay? We're going to test it out for tonight because I don't want to waste all that and to find out that it's no good. So we do have the metal and stuff. Let's go and do that. Oh, yeah, press on. Yeah, that's me perfect, actually. Because we put them all together in one row, it looked kind of odd. This will at least, yeah, it gives a glow. Staggers at the glowing of lights. Oh, yeah. That's what we're talking about right there. That's what we're talking about. So the only thing, I, oh yeah, metal, <laughs> need more. Uh, the only thing we're gonna need to make sure we do is uh, build up a gate and then, and then the pigs are ready to go. We can always close up this and have them in here though. Maybe give them some room and also check out to see whether or not they can do the eating part inside of here. That's what I'm wondering, those troughs are pretty high up, you know, I'm worried that's gonna be an issue. Might have to build some smaller ones. And the only way to know, oh, that looks gorgeous. Yeah, I, 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 I'm, I'm kind of amazed. Am I out of... No, I still have a little bit more. Good. Okay, so we're going to drop this off in a shed too. Uh, we're going to continue going with this. We're probably going to get some fuel too today. 
because I'm running out. I uh, both of them ran out completely. We'll just grab this stuff here. These. Oh, you know what I should do is build that freaking well, so we can save ourselves some uh, some headaches and having to buy water and stuff. Right now, it hasn't been a big issue, so maybe we'll do it next. Actually, you know what? Yeah, we'll do it next. I need a 50 pounder dough next to where we're gonna build it, but we gotta keep them dry. This is materials that you can't keep wet, so we'll try our best to keep them all nice and dry. What time is it, anyways? Now we've been working our butts off. It's one o'clock. It's time for lunch. Go on, it's for lunch, dude. We're gonna need to go and get some food and stuff. Okay. <laughs> Thankfully enough, we don't have to worry about that. Okay, so there we go. So it's nice, and we're gonna rotate this so it doesn't help me crash when I'm walking in. Okay, and yep. Could go for another two piggies, though. We could pick up another two pigs, but that's gonna be expensive. But we do have the feeders now. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? I'm gonna have to take this all apart here. I don't think it fit pigs in this. Yeah, I'm gonna have to take these all out and put them across here for now. Just to get the pigs, because it's already one o'clock. I don't know if I have time to do this. There's so much stuff to take off. Oh. You know what? Let's build the fencing. We'll get the pigs tomorrow. It's just going to be too much work. And you know what? We have metals and stuff here. We have a little bit of metals left. We'll get the metals tomorrow. Change the plans. Let's get this done. Woo! Oops. Jackknifing. Just going to pull it away right now while we're working so I can figure out what I'm going to be doing. Let's just double check to see everybody's okay in here. No babies out here. We'll pick up the poops. You're not tormenting that poor chicken, are you, buddy? I hope not. That's five to seven. Yeah, you guys are eating and drinking good good stuff. I should put this inside of my cart here. That way I don't lose it. Okay, so the fence line, we're going to build this and build over here. I'm going to be careful because I'm going to build a bar next door, so I can't go too crazy. Okay, so wood fencing. There we go. And here we're going to put a gate. So if I put this here and a gate on a corner piece right there, that's what I want to look at. Putting like a corner there should be working out just fine, I think. Okay, I was going to do a double gate system, but at this point, I think I'm just going to be happy to have a gate up and running here. Maybe it's not an angle like that. Okay, and we'll try to put a fence here. Is that good? No, it's not. Damn it! <laughs> it's so easy to make a mistake with this thing. Okay, so I think I'm gonna leave it like this. It looks pretty darn cool. I, I'm liking it. I'm digging it. I'm thinking this is gonna work out just fine with this fencing. Like this. It's gonna be okay. I want to do a double tier one. Maybe later on I'll bring a fence across here and put another, of course, gate going across. Uh, but right now we're just gonna do what we can with the product we have on us. And uh, yeah, let's get done. Let's get this completed. I do have this fine amount here. I just took off the hull. We should be okay. Bring this back over here and take it. Oh crap! Unless you, unless unless Game Edge decides to jump out of his vehicle as he's turning and hit a tree, of course. <laughs> That's good. Whoa. Two and three. Let's get those in there. What if we'll be able to paint these things afterwards? I know they're working on some paint templates, so what if we can be able to paint these suckers? It'd be kind of nice if we can somehow put some our own colors on there. Same thing for inside the house and stuff. I would love to be able to do that. Okay, three of those. There we go. Not gonna take as many as I thought it was, but you know what? I figured I'd cut them down because we're probably gonna need them. Probably gonna need them. I, mean, I had to kind of bows a tiny bit, but I had a problem with the ground. For some reason, it was not letting me place it, so we had to bow it out right a little bit, so that's fine. That's fine. 
I have to accept it. Okay. Am I dropping this on the ground or what? what? And that's seven plaques for that one. Perfect. Nice. I'm built to move the piggies in. I'm freaking excited about that because this is something I wanted to see. I have all the pigs inside of here. Oh, this is looking nice together. Look at that. Look how sweet that looks. Oh, my lordy. Yes, sirree, Bob. I'm a loving it. Okay, before we go to bed, I forgot. We want to check out all these lights and how it looks. It looks pretty darn good. If we do double of those, it'd be great. I don't know if we can get the one on the ceiling up there. I don't think... Oh, my God. Don't look up when you look at your book. Okay. Here we go. Uh, where are they? There they are. I just saw it. Damn it. Go back. We can. So we can stagger those two if you want to and put them in there. Okay. That's good to know. I just hopefully... Well, we can always use the truck for UTV up here. Now, we really, I had some serious amount of lights. And the only thing is, for what I've been hearing, every time you log out, log back in, you got to turn back on your lights. So that's going to be interesting. Hopefully, uh, we'll have to test that anyways once we do that. But it looks like we've done a pretty good job with this. I've uh, taken off the boards tomorrow morning. We're ready to go. We're up. Time to get those piggies in that pen. Let's get a UTV out and get rolling. Put those nice little piggies into the back of it. We will have a problem with the gas tank most likely. So we're going to grab that set the gas tank and actually fill it back up. There we go. Perfect. We'll put it into the back of this thing here. So we're going to need to go and get some gas very shortly. All right, you little pigs. Nothing, uh, yeah, I'm not trying to be mean about it, but just get in the back of this. Okay. No, not, did you, are you a pig? Did you check yourself out yet? No, you're not a piggy. Oh, crap. All right, come over here. Before the other one who thinks he's a pig. Oh, okay, there we go. Perfect, thank you. You wonderful little swines. I think the chickens want to move in here. Who knows, we might just end up doing it. Okay. I can't really see when I'm backing up. I'm just guesstimating. There we go. And here's your new home, buddy. That's right. Just while I'm doing this here, I'm going to close this up. And welcome to your new home. Go crazy. Let's go crazy. The hell are you looking? I don't know if you realize the food's on the other side, but that's fine. No, no. <laughs> Escaping. Okay. Come here. I didn't mean to hurt you. I you you ran in front of the freaking vehicle, dude. Oh come on. It's not going to be one of these, right? It's not going to be one of these issues, is it? No matter how many times I try and get out. There's always one. Ah, oh, ass of a pig. Are they doing it on purpose? <sighs> get my vehicle out. Okay. You'll get freedom in a second of this nice little yard we built for you. You're in the left lane, little tree, so you got some shade. Isn't that nice? Yeah, we're gonna have to get rid of this tree in front of me, though. This one here has got to go. And that thing's got to go. I'm gonna hit it every time I back up. Okay. Barn's built. We got some lighting in here. It's quite nice. And we have food. We have water. We have everything we need. I'm gonna chop you down, you piece of crud of a tree. <laughs> we got the, oh, frick, what's the chances of that? Oh my god. As I'm trying to place one in there. Yeah, we'll get rid of a couple of these trees here. They're in my way for backups and stuff when I'm backing up an area. And this is going to drive me nuts. I had to clear out every last one of these. And then the update occurred. And next thing you know, I had a whole bunch of trees back. I'm not going to complain. I don't know if they grow back or not. If they, they actually grow from these little saplings down. I haven't sat there and actually, well, you know, kind of pinpointed one and said, let's let that one grow and find out what happens. 
What I want to see is all of them gone right now. <laughs> but we need a bunch of wood anyways. We're uh, running kind of low on said wood. Ooh. So this is not hurting us at all to get rid of all of this. I said uh, that one there, maybe that one there too will be gone too in the future. But uh, for now, I'm just going to get rid of the small ones that cause me more problems than anything else. All right. Let's get there itself there. I'll place this right there. Oh, I think they're going to be happy in there. I really do. I'm hoping it'll be happy. It costs a fortune to build, dude. So let's feed this up here. All traps are full. Good. Let's just make sure this is completely full. And all watering bowls are full. All right. So let's just accept it and have everything happy. Well, let's get some more wood here, too. I'll need to pile up. Uh, let's go and double check to see where our chickens are. They should be a little more relaxed now than it's you know, a lot less hectic with all these animals uh, running around the piggies, making a big mess of things and eating up all their food. Oh, wow. Someone actually turned it up there. That's sweet. That's very good. Sweet. All right. Let's grab that. Perfect. That's all fed and there. So we're going to get well water. I don't going to put the wells. I'm trying to... Because I won't need it for that side. I need it for smaller coops and stuff. And now there's a... I guess I could put it next to that building there too. Or right here. This seems like a perfect place for it. Right down the middle here. Maybe I should just build the well here. Just get over with. I've been talking about it for like four episodes. How much I need this thing. And now it's time to do it. Okay. It's going to take six planks and 50 concrete. We can always make another one afterwards. So I'll put it right here for now. How about right here? There we go. Perfect. Okay, so some six planks and 50 concrete. I know you have planks. That's not a problem. Ooh, this is kind of scary. Okay, so another one of those. <laughs> Put them really on an edge there. And 50 concrete. I... It's the same in a bag anyways. Yeah. Just concrete. I thought it was maybe they're going to make some funny things going on here. All right. So we have our buckets too. That's actually just a seat. Uh, we have a bucket over there too. We can actually utilize. There we go. We'll fill this baby up. Perfect. This bucket should be empty. I'll set her down. Ooh, that doesn't look very uh, appetizing there. All right. And this is where we're getting our water from. So... <laughs> all good good stuff and we have water for afterwards if we need it we got water we got eggs we got everything else how's the eggs doing there's still another egg right there i see it before i forget it and i end up stepping on it and break it there we go you guys are doing a good job in there good we have some eggs like how many eggs we have in there quite a few actually could be good for selling very shortly and hopefully we'll be able to cook and build ourselves a house and that is our main goal right now look at this place not coming together what we even have our piggies in there i'm curious to see if they're gonna end up actually eat and keep themselves going Trots are at 10 before now it's down to eight yeah they have no problem eating off this okay interesting i guess if you're hungry you have no problems i figure the trough would be a lot lower with that but we're okay look at that pigs they're all just so happy very very happy piggies Plus, we got our water. We got everything else. That is such good news. Now we can actually get ourselves uh, some cows and milk. And But we need to build our house first so we can start cooking. Now, I'd love to do a freeform house too, but I don't think we can do our kitchens yet. I don't think that's something that's uh, available for us to do. I'm going to have to turn off that music before it becomes a copyright issue. I don't know if it would be or not, but I'd never take a risk. There we go. But we will need to build it because I don't think we built a kitchen part where we need to cook. I don't know. I didn't see it anywhere yet. Maybe it will come in just like the greenery did afterwards. It's very possible. What the frick is going on with this wood? Is it broken or something? Is it because of the way I parked, honestly? Sometimes I, I've had this happen before. even place down other things and it seems like you have to park a certain way for it to all work out. You see, look at don't ask questions. Let it be. You do have deer over here, too. Uh, you guys saw it. We can hunt some around here, too. They do show up every so often. 
I'm not sure firing the weapon here will freak out the... You know what? I, should, I never tested it out. If they updated that or not. I know they had in the old times where you shot... If you shot near an animal, the other were running for their lives. There you go. Grab that and just drop this. Ow, right in the face. Alright, let's see here. I don't want to stress them out too much. Just curious. No. Doesn't seem to affect them whatsoever. I think it's when you shoot one of them, they don't like it. You know what I'm saying? That's what happens. Alright, well, it's good. Go back here. Fill the troughs again. Still have nothing to fill. I still don't see... Oh, crap. These things are going to annoy me too. We're going to have to build another barn here. When we get horses and stuff, that's what we're going to need. We could do a pig one on that side, which is our main barn. And maybe make a barn for our cows, too. And have a separate one so we don't have them all interfering with each other. Because they do seem to uh, cause some serious issues when they're all together. They, they, they're mischievous. Yes, they are. <laughs> Trust me. They've been pretty bad sometimes. But maybe we can do that. We can make a second barn on the other side. But I do need my house first. And I'm thinking I'm going to build the house right about here on the corner. And I was going to check out the buildings and stuff for that. I know we could do some like this, but I want to go all out. Of course, I want the big, big house if possible. And like I mentioned to you guys last time, I love the L-shaped houses too. This is a one-story house. Love those. Maybe i just go for one story. A one-story house with three rooms. This is what? An exclusive retro-style house is a dream of any rancher. Okay. Don't, don't rub it in, dude. I'm just wanting the kitchen and storage. I know this thing has tons of storage in it, right? From last time we checked it out. So maybe we should do that one. I don't know. We're going to figure it out. We'll work on it. 64 planks. I can do that easily. Six, 365 concrete and 140 metal. Uh, 365 concrete. That is a frig load. Holy crap. That's 100. That's 200. 300. 400. So we have enough. 365 concrete. We just need a whole shite load of metal. And we can make this happen. That is pretty cool. So I think we're going to leave the episode here. We've done pretty good for today. And again, yeah, if you guys are enjoying this, please take time. Hit the like button. If you're brand new, please go ahead and subscribe. Thank you all for your amazing support, by the way, throughout all this. I can't thank you enough. And again, yeah, show us some love by hitting the like button. I'll show you back some love again, bring back some more videos. And again, can't thank you guys enough. This is Game Edge, and I'll catch you guys on the flip side.